Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Gold Rush Junction. This episode we just sort of did a little bit of speed building, uh, just to start off on the right hand side of the park here. Um, so I'll do a little bit of speed building, we'll then go and do a little bit of a tour, um, see what we did. I'm not sort of sure if I'm 100% happy with it, but again, this is sort of a new thing for me, so we'll see how we go. Just a little bit of a challenge and a little bit of extra experience with what we're doing. So we'll see you on the other side. Alright, so we started here with the teacups, and I was... A little bit naughty. I did take the um, the skin for the teacups from the workshop. I did play around with it a little bit, but I just couldn't get it right, and I was getting frustrated. So I thought, there's some great things on the workshop. They're there to be used, so why not? You know, it was something. I was just looking for something simple, just to sort of go with the Western theme. And yeah, I've never sort of done like a um, a, a themed type park before I always did a, a generic type park so again this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to sort of use different bits um, of scenery and that sort of stuff to build different looking things um, and you know I've been watching uh, Geekism's um, Pinewood Hills on YouTube recently and um, yeah just trying to get some ideas on how to use different objects to make them look different uh, rather than just going with the ones that are um, you know the content based ones that uh, Frontier have given us um, so yeah we'll see how we go we've got this two little dudes here chilling next to the fire um, just sort of uh, just something that people can look at when they're standing in the queue um, and again I had a, a little bit of a play around here um, just to try and set up the layout, I thought, oh gosh, that bush is going to catch fire. So we better change that up a little bit. Um, so yeah, we've got try to um, find some things that would fit in this area here. Um, a lot of them were a little bit too big and didn't sort of fit. So I went with, um, as you'll see in a second, like a wagon type um, thing with... Um, some suitcases and barrels and, and things inside so yeah um, just trying to jazz things up a little bit but um as I said in the um, the previous episode I have been playing Planet Coaster since it, it did come out last year and um, it has definitely evolved you know I've, I've had a lot of um, a lot of fun trying to um, play around and, and sort of see how things work and it has taken me a little while to get used to it um, I guess just because there are so many different elements and, and different ways to do things um, I'm not new to the um, the, the theme park building um, you know I played Roller Coaster Tycoon back you know Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 and 3 and um, you know since I was a kid so it's definitely trying to um, do different things with with the content that we've got is um, is a little bit different to what I'm used to. So, it, it, but it is fun and it's challenging to to do that. Um, so here I was just sort of looking at uh, sort of lighting for the queue. I don't want it to be too bright. You definitely want to set the um, set the ambience, I guess, um, when you're doing these types of things and. Um, just sort of, I think I check in a second see how it looks when it gets dark. So, um, and I put some some trees and stuff around. Yep, yeah, there we go. So you don't want it to be too bright, but you don't want it to be dark so that people can't sort of see where they're where they're going. Um, I'm gonna just put some trees up around here. Um, I do actually really love these um these uh, autumn trees that the they put in on one of the updates. Um, sorry, you have to um, excuse me. I do have a little bit of a, a blocked nose just now. Um, so I put some leaves down. Obviously, we've got um, the the orange type trees started to lose the leaves, so we've got some leaves lying around here. Um, and yes, I actually really love this little archway that I that I made using um, some wooden columns um, and with the little teacup sign. Um, it's just something simple, but it's it can look very effective, and and you know it does 
sort of these little things do make all the difference when it comes to um, design. Um, and some of the rocks, just laying some of those along there. Um, and then I think, no, this King Costa just having a wonder. Um, I think just sort of have a look and in, in, in just seeing what do I, I think I put an ATM and an information section in here. Um, just as sort of a little, the, the little starter area. Um, I guess, I mean, ATMs and that sort of stuff are always handy to have for little guests just to, um, you know, get some extra money if they're running low on cash. And I do try and keep the, um, the pricing for my rides. Um, a little bit lower just to to get more people in I guess um, but during I me mean, during this the, the build I wasn't um, I normally pause the game while I'm building um, just so that it, I can sort of keep on track of um, you know how guests are feeling about the power park and that sort of thing and if they need you know if they find that there's not enough drink stations or there's not enough benches um, so I did just cut out um, there, just the building of that, you know, it's a very basic building anyway, it wasn't much happening. I just put some more plants and bushes and stuff around. Um, and yeah, just trying to give it a little bit more colour, I guess, um, rather than just having it all green. It can get a little bit boring, especially if you've got the, you know, the sort of trying to stick to a theme. You've got the similar type buildings. Um, I think I just add some little signages on here for the ATM and the information on here. Um, but it's nothing too fancy. It's just a very basic little building just to house the information. Um, and yeah, it's... Um, it's funny you see videos of, of um on YouTube and people sort of you know know what they look like they know what they're doing which is obviously great um and it, being able to speed up the video from from playing it live it does actually make me look like I know what I'm doing but half the time I click around for about ten minutes before I find what I'm looking for um so yes I actually think I forgot to put some bins in here. So I think people try start, starting making mess now. I've got those little um, shops right out at the front. Um, so we'll just add some bins here. Um, but yeah, we're starting to get a few more people in. But I'm pretty sure before the end of this big build, the number does drop. So we'll see how we go. Um, but again, I might change some of this. I think I'm pretty happy with how the teacups area turned out. And this little information area, um, once it's finished, turns out a lot better. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. But I might end up changing some things. Um, but for for now, it's all right for now. Just for starting starting the park, and depending on how people, obviously, I mean, the information doesn't really get used all that much. Not in my parks. So I don't really use the priority lanes for my coasters and that sort of stuff so they don't really get used um, but I guess it's always nice just to you know have it there just in case um, you know plan uh, in uh, Rule Coast Tycoon 3 they used to be able to buy you know um, park maps and that sort of thing so maybe I don't know if Frontier are going to bring this into Planet Coaster but it would actually be a nice addition if they did um, just so you can sort of make a little bit of money from selling the park maps, especially as the parks are getting bigger. Um, but I have noticed obviously a lot of people have started to make their own little park maps. So here we are. Um, I've just sort of skipped ahead a little bit, put in another ride. So we've got Dodgems. Um, and I just sort of build up the um, the skin for the Dodgems as... Um, as it, I, it took me a little while, I was trying to multitask, I was talking on the phone while I was building and not really concentrating on what I was doing, so it took me a few attempts to get this sort of how I wanted, um, and even then I didn't get it exactly how I wanted it to, to turn out, I just, I sort of, I think I gave up, to be honest, um, but I built it up with a little bit of a roof over the top and some, um, just so you can sort of see and see, 
people who are on the dodgems can see out, give it a little bit of light. Um, and I put a roof on the top as well and just sort of build up the queue a little bit. I don't put any um, props or anything in the queue this time, but um, I built it up with a, a little bit of a roof and some foliage and that sort of thing. So I think I, I do need to add some lighting in for when it's dark. Um, I think I forgot to do that, but that's something that I can go back and do sort of off camera, just those little tedious things. Um, so here I'm just sort of just building the, um, the poles around the outside. Um, of the lower level and just having a look around and I'm just going to build the the roof just flat roof around the top for now um, I build it up I think one more level from there from from this um, and I think I skip through um, we'll just skip through a little bit um, so that it's not very so it's not as tedious watching it um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how I've started this little park. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to sort of keep it to a limited space. It's not going to be a huge um, thing. It's going to be sort of an older style park from, you know, started in the 1920s, I guess, and just sort of built up. I think that's the sort of idea that, that I'm trying to go with, sort of scenario type thing that I'm going with for this one. Um, but I'm not going to be as, uh, go into as much detail and depth as, say, for example, Geekism does, uh, for his Pinewood Hills series, um, where he has a whole sort of, um, backstage area, and he, you know, I was watching, uh, one episode just before I was recording this, and, um, you know, he does a little, um, has like a little ketchup and mustard, um, station outside of one of the, um, the one in the little uh, Mexican shops, so I'm not going to go into that much detail. Um, but you know, just it, it gives you ideas watching other people, and and I do it, it does pass a little bit of time. So um, here I've just started building a, um, a um, like a little food court area um, just above ground, just a, a, a raised platform. Um, couldn't quite fit these two. Um, in so I decided to get rid of them at all later. Um, this was my little area for the little picnic area. Um, I wanted to put my picnic benches, which actually on the um, the anniversary update, I think they are a great addition. Um, I think uh, that they're actually working really well from from the time that I have spent using them. Um, so here already laid out my little benches but, I'm, but I think this ends up looking different I think I get rid of the ones in, in, in the first part over here um, but yeah so just sort of trying to keep with the theme the wooden theme um, because obviously you know 1920s gold rush type park um, so wooden uh, I don't want it to get too boring, so I'm going to try and change it up a little bit, and, and, and I will change some of the colours um, of the wood, so, you know, like, and, and have maybe, like, a, a more modern section um, that has, that uses different type of wood rather than just the um, the panel wood that we've got here, plank wood, I think it's called. Um, it's me just trying to work out how I'm going to do it, am I going to build it, I think I just put up sticking a roof on it, yep. Um, and I do change the path a little bit, um, I think I was trying to fill in this gap here, but it just, it just wouldn't work, um, so, yes, I ended up moving the drink stations down a little bit, and I've cut it out again, because it's boring doing, watching the same thing, so I've just changed this little part, so the path, we've got two ways to get into the little food section, um, and from there, I will cut to the live section, and we'll take a little tour of what we've done. Alright, so here we go. So we've got 
the entrance on the right hand side here we'll just go through the little door here and as you can see we've got a little couple of rides here we've got a little teacups on the left and as you go through here you can see this pathway to the dodgems so it's kind of very very naturey, I guess is the word. We've got some a lot of trees and some bushes just to keep it sort of looking looking good, I guess. Um, so we'll see how we go with that and come up here. There's um our King Coaster having a chat with some people. So we've got a little um, food court here. I guess um, I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with this, so we'll see how we go. Um, probably end up changing it, um, but that's fine. So I guess in the next episode, we'll sort of continue building out here. We'll build another couple of rides. Um, maybe start looking where we can place our coaster, um, our first coaster of the park. Um, but I think for now we'll just sort of keep on this side of the park and we'll expand up there in a, in a few episodes. So, um, yeah, if you, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a like and uh, we'll see you next time.